फिर गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर कॉल्ड एस गेटिंग टू नो प्लांट्स वी ऑल नो प्लांट्स प्लांट्स आर एवरीवेयर नियर आवर हाउसेस दे आर इन फॉरेस्ट दे आर इन इन गार्डन दे आर इन पार्क गो आउटसाइड एंड ऑब्जर्व ऑल द प्लांट्स अराउंड यू यू सी दैट सम प्लांट्स आर स्मॉल सम आर वेरी बिग सम आर जस्ट पैचेस ऑफ ग्रीन ऑन द सॉइल सम हैव ग्रीन लीव्स वाइल सम हैव अदर रेडिश वंस some have huge red flowers some have tiny blues one while some have none we do see a variety of plants existing around us yes children yes in the school ground on the way to the school in parks and gardens isn't it let us get to know in this chapter different parts of the plant and this will help us to understand the difference between plants of different kinds can you label root leaf flower and fruit of the plant shown below i'm sure you can do this sure you can do it look closely at the stem and branches plants much smaller than you plants that are about your size plants which are much taller than you feel the stem and try to bend gently to see if they are tender or hard take care that the stem does not break hug the tall plants to see how thick their stem are we also notice from where the branches grow in some plants close to the ground or higher up the stem we group all the plants we have observed some examples are shown column 1 2 3 based on the characters most plants can be classified into three categories herbs shrubs and trees based on the characters most plants can be classified into three categories herbs shrubs and trees herbs shrubs and trees an example of each has been given here this is herb shrub and tree herb is the first a b is shrub and c is the tree then what are herbs shrubs and trees plants with green tender stems plants with green tender stems are called herbs they are usually short and may not have any branches some plants develop branches near the base of the stem the stem is hard but not very thick such plants are called shrubs some plants are very tall and have hard than thick stem the stems have branches in the upper part much above the ground such plants are called trees such plants are called trees plants with green and tender stems are called herbs they are usually short and may not have many branches some plants develop branches near the base of the stem the stem is hard but not very thick such plants are called shrubs some plants are very tall and have hard thick and hard and thick stem the stems have branches in the upper part much above the ground such plants are called trees like this we have different definition for herb shrubs and trees we have different explanation for herb shrub the herb shrubs from the trees are three kinds of plants there are many more plants we can even classify there are many other types of plants also plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground are called creepers ba creepers anta karithar plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground are called creepers while those that take support and climb up are called climbers balli anta karithina climbers ke बल्ली सो द प्लांट्स विथ वेरी वीक स्टेम्स दैट कैन नॉट स्टैंड आर कॉल्ड बट ग्रो स्प्रेड ऑन द ग्राउंड आर कॉल्ड एज क्रीपर्स लाइक पंपकिन एंड विथ सपोर्ट एंड क्लाइंब अप आर कॉल्ड क्लाइमर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्रेप्स दीज आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हर्ब शर्ब सेंट्रीज बिकॉज इन द सेंस दे हैव वेरी वेरी वीक स्टेम दे हैव very very weak stems they have they have very very weak stems they have very very weak stems observe closely the stems of different plants around you note down the different structures borne by the stem compare your observation with that of your friends what do you find stems bear leaves branches buds flowers and 
ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೊಗ್ಗು ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಹೂವು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೈ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟರಿ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವೇರ್ ದೆ ಬಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಾ ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೋಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಹೌ ಆರ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಓಲ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮಿನಾ ದು ದ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಚ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಓಲ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮಿನಾ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಿನಾ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಓಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲೀಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವೇನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಿಡ್ ರಿಪ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಿಡ್ ರಿಪ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಲೀಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಲೀಫ್ ವಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೆಟ್ ಆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಡ್ ರಿಪ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ವೆನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರೆಟಿಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಯು ಮಡ್ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ ವೇನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಟು ಒನಿಜ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ವಿನೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ವಿನೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ವಿನೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ವಿನೇಷನ್ parallel venation so here you can see reticulate venation is like a network and you see b is a grass which is parallel venation leaves is the part from which water comes out this process through which the water comes out of leaves is called transpiration plants release a lot of water into the air by this process leaves for the food is prepared in the leaves using water and carbon dioxide these all you know by a process called as photosynthesis by a process called as photosynthesis by a process called as photosynthesis oxygen is given out during photosynthesis the food is prepared in the leaves ultimately gets stored in the different parts of the plant we have seen stem supplies the leaf with water leaf uses the water to make food the leaves also lose water through transpiration we will come from first once again we will revise getting to know plants we know plants are very important they are found everywhere park garden even in some roads forests everywhere there are three kinds of plants herb shrubs and trees what are herbs and what are shrubs and what are trees we will find out plants with green tender stems tender means very weak very small and young called herbs they are usually short and will not have many branches some plants develop branches near the base of the stem the stem is hard but not very thick such plants are called as shrubs such plants are called as shrubs and very tall big plants very tall big plants hard and thick stem are called as which have branches in the upper part also but the ground such plants are called as trees these are the three kinds of plants herb shrubs and trees herb shrubs and trees are the three kin
plants. Shrubs and trees are three kinds of plants. We were discussing about stem. Before going to the stem, we will discuss the plants with weak stems so that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground are called creepers. The plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground are called creepers. While those that take support and climb up are called climbers. While those that take support and climb up are called climbers. Plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground are called creepers. While those that take support and climb up are called climbers. These are different from our shrubs and trees. Next is stem. We know stem is a very important part of the plant. Stem has leaves, buds, flowers, fruits, etc. And it has branches also. It has branches. And through this experiment and activity, we can find out that the water, the stem helps in movement of water. Stem helps in the movement of water. And food also. Stem helps in the movement. Through stem, the water moves to all parts of the plant and leaves. And leaves. Next is leaf. The part of the leaf which is attached to which it is attached to the stem is called petiole. The broad green part of the leaf is called lamina. The broad green part of the leaf is called lamina. See the lamina and petiole. Lamina and petiole. The lines of the leaf are called veins. The middle prominent line is called midrib. The arrangement of veins like a network connected to each other is called as reticulate venation. The leaves of grass where it is the veins are arranged parallelly are called parallel venation. Leaves of plant where it is arranged parallelly are called parallel venation. It's called as parallel venation. Parallel venation. The water comes out through leaves by a process called transpiration. Leaves release water. The part plants release water through leaves called as transpiration. This can be done with an activity and confirmed. Using the water given by the stem, plants prepare the food the, by a process called as photosynthesis. By a process called as photosynthesis. By a process called as photosynthesis. Oxygen is given out in this process. Oxygen is given out in this process. Oxygen is given out in this process. The leaf uses water given by the stem to make food. The leaves also lose water through stem. How do the stem and leaves get water? Answer is root. root. The part of the plant which is in soil is the root. The root is the part which will absorb the water from the soil and give it to the root and stem. Stem, uh, root and stem. Root is very, very important. Root gives support to the plant. Root gives support to the plant. That's why we have to water the plant regularly. If we won't water the plant regularly, the roots will not get water. What are the uses of root? Root help in holding the plant firmly to the soil. Root helps the plant to hold firmly to the soil. That is very important. Like I told, roots are main thing because of it the plant stands upright. Because of roots, they, they, the plants receive water which goes to the stem and then leaves and using that, the plants prepare food. The plants prepare food. Using this, the plants prepare food. Leaves anchor the plant to the soil. Leaves anchor the plant to the soil. You can do these activities and try and find out how roots help in her. Using the plants from the soil, help in providing the plants to the soil. The soil. Root is very, very important. Root absorbs the water and mineral salts. Root absorbs the water and mineral salts. For roots of this kind, there are two kinds of roots. Like given in the diagram A. The diagram A is called as a tap root. 
which has branches called lateral roots and uh, the, the the root in the part b is called fibrous root the root in the part b is called fibrous root a and b what is a tap root the tap root is a root which contains one main central root which goes deep into the soil and produces branches called lateral roots fibrous root is the root like you can see in the diagram b diagram a nalli irudu tap root tap root andre one main root to strong agirudu thumba deep agogutte branches produce madutte a thumba strong root fibrous root andre ide illi from the base of the stem there will be arrangement of lot of a lot of roots and branches idina fibrous root idu salpa weak idu salpa strong agirutte thumba water na absorb mado capacity irutte two types of roots are rattan and fibrous roots and tap root thank you